This is a wonderful white. This is a lovely white, very crisp. From right here, ladies and gentlemen, I recommend it highly. Thank you. Have we got any blues fans out there today? This is one from a brand new CD. It's called Whatever You're Doing. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing the things that you're doing to me. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing the things that you're doing to me.
off my latest release, which is called Let Me Prove It To You. Is it okay if we play another new song for you? Can we do another one? Yeah. yeah. This is one called Ain't Nobody Like You. From the first time I laid eyes on you, there was no time for me to fall into. Fall in love, now I'm just your fool. Ain't nobody like you. Last week, the world lost, in my opinion, one of uh, well, one of its greatest guitar players. The one and only Mr. Johnny Winter died this past week, ladies and gentlemen. So give Johnny a hand for everything that he did for all of the, uh, well, all of music, really. And back in March, the boys and myself, we had the wonderful opportunity of opening up for, uh, for Mr. Johnny Winter and Barry. And uh, we had a chance after to sit around and chat with them. And uh, I had to ask him a story about one of my favorite songs ever. And it's Manish Boy by Muddy Waters. And front, the exact version is from the, I believe it's 1978, Hard Again, which Johnny Winter produced. So I asked Johnny about that. And I, I said to him, you know, Johnny, I love that recording so much. And it's you screaming in the background. What were you trying to do as a producer with Muddy Waters and his band? Were you trying to get them excited? Or were you trying, you know, what was going on there? Why were you screaming all the time? And he said, looked me right, you know, dead in the eye and said, I couldn't help it. I was just so excited in the room. I thought that was pretty cool. So I um, heard that straight from Johnny. And this next song that we're going to play, which is on my brand new release, I took inspiration from, uh, from that. And... Uh, <laughs> This is a song on the album, and it's called What I Believe.
thank you. I was wearing a, a shirt earlier, walking around before I changed, and it had the one and only Mr. Mel Brown on it. And I love Mel Brown so much. He's always talking to me at some point in the back of my head, and I get really excited sometimes. And when I was younger, I used to say to Mel, I just get so excited. And he'd say to me, strong man, you got to learn to take your time. <laughs> I'm still working on it. This is called Wasting My Time.
last year, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful movie came out about Mr. Mel Brown. And on my very first CD that I put out called Honey. How many people out there have Honey? Anybody? Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> on Honey, I had the honor and pleasure of having Mr. Mel Brown on this song. So I want you all to make sure that you go and check it out. It's a great movie entitled Love, Lost, and Found, the story of Mel Brown. Made by some very dedicated, talented people. This is a song by B.B. King. We're going to do it for you right now on my first CD. <laughs>
I'm so happy and proud to tell all of you ladies and gentlemen that uh, last year, is it last year? Yes, 2013, my acoustic album uh, won the Juno for Blues Recording of the Year here in Canada. Thank you very much. Thank you. And when we live in a country, as you probably all know, that is so incredibly talented with amazing blues artists. We're so proud to all be Canadian and have our own unique thing happening. I was really, really proud to join that elite group of people that have won a Juno. And just to be nominated was, was, was pretty incredible as well. So I thought maybe I'd play a couple of songs from that acoustic record. Is that okay? All right, thank you. While we're talking about it, how about a nice round of applause for my friend Frank back there doing sound. Isn't he doing a wonderful job? How about it for Ray? I know you guys know them uh, all very well because they do a great job for you every year, but it's such a pleasure to come in here and work with such great guys, such great pros. So thank you very much, guys. Something better out there 
as I mentioned earlier, um, when I came home back, uh, I live in Hamilton. By the way, I, I always get people tell me I should really say my name all the time. And I don't do it enough, I suppose, because people keep asking me, who are you again? My name is Steve Strongman. I live in Hamilton, Ontario, and it's so, it's so nice to be so close to home here. Thank you very much. Anybody from Hamilton out there? <laughs> all right. So uh, when I came back to Hamilton after, after I won the big Juno and everything, I had this house gig that I was playing. Uh, I was there every Sunday night for 13 years, every single Sunday night. And uh, yeah, that's something to be proud of. Yeah, absolutely. So I came back there and I had won and it was great my first night back and there were these balloons up all over the place, which is just so nice. And the manager, I came in, there's these balloons and I'm like, oh man, come on. He's like, yeah, man, yes, you won the Juno. So I was about to start playing and uh, this lovely lady came up to me right to the front of the stage and she says, uh, I hope you don't mind, we put up some balloons, it's my friend's birthday. <laughs> totally true. And I look at the manager, he's like, That's on my first CD. Far from my home 
from me out there just like this. I've got one thing to say. Can't hear you. Just one thing to say. One thing will never change. We are all the same. It's all about the love. Somehow they're never enough. It all starts with the lips, now you take what you put in, and there's just one thing to say, just one thing to say, one thing will never change, we are all the same. <laughs> Welcome back to the stage, the guys in the band, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to tell you who they are all the way from Hamilton, Ontario, on the bass and the vocals. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Colin Lapsley. Colin Lapsley on the bass and the vocals. Colin and I have been playing music together for, uh, if you ask him, he'll say too long, but uh, how long now? About, <laughs> about I think it's about seven, 17 years now, like something like that. Guy. Anyway, long time, so I'm happy and lucky to have these guys with me. Back there on the drums, ladies and gentlemen, and the vocals, wonderful artist in his own right, from Hamilton, Ontario, the one and only Mr. Dave King, David King. Dave and I met when uh, about 20 years ago we started playing music together and I don't know how but I've managed to keep these guys with me for 
through thick and thin and thin and thin. Your cologne. <laughs> Can we play you some more songs? So I, I was a huge Jeff Healy fan, ladies and gentlemen, a big Jeff Healy fan. I love Jeff. He was such a wonderful guy. And I had the uh, distinct honor of, of playing with him several times at his place in Toronto. And then after Jeff uh, passed away, his band had a few different people that he wanted to carry on the shows that he had already booked because Jeff was booking shows right up until the very end. And uh, it was a huge pleasure and honor for me to uh, actually get a chance to go and play with Jeff's band. I, I wouldn't say fill his shoes because I don't think anybody could ever fill his shoes, but it was a real honor. So I'm going to play you a song that Jeff did on his last record. This is one called Sugar Sweet. Goes like this. <laughs>
today, ladies and gentlemen. song that is on my uh, brand new CD which is called Let Me Prove It To You. By the way, we do have CDs for sale. 
And I, oh, thank you so much. I love you guys too. It's so great to be here. Thank you. You know, we have the fantastic, the phenomenal Mr. Jack DeKaiser coming right up, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, you got to be ready for him. Put your hands together for Mr. Jack DeKaiser coming up right after this. Woo! Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is called Let Me Prove It To You.
Well, we got time for a couple more songs, everybody. Certainly hope that you're enjoying yourself. I want to say a special thank you to everybody at the shuffle for having me back. It's been a few years, and it's so nice to, to come back to this event. And I'm also really proud and pleased to tell you that I'll be back at the shuffle in uh, October, I believe. That's right, guys. Everybody knows the date, so it's nice to be back there. <laughs> So I'm going to play a song that is um, near and dear to my heart. So every time that you, uh, that you write a song, you never know exactly what's going to happen with it. But this one seems to have stood the test of time for me anyway. It's on my very first CD, which is called Honey Again, ladies and gentlemen. I do have copies for sale. Brian back there is in the tent. Say hi to Brian uh, because uh, we do have merch for sale.
Thank you very much. We have time for one more song, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. One more time for Colin Lapsley on the bass and the vocals. Mr. Dave King back there on the drums. My name is Steve Strongly. Thank you very much. Please come and say hello if you can. The one and only Mr. Jack DeKaiser coming right up and right after that. Lionel's playing it, so it's, it's going to be a wonderful rest of the day of music. So uh, please enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. 
One more song. Let's hear it for Steve. And don't forget, he's going to be at the booth in the back to sign his new CD and any other CD you want as soon as he's done. One more time, Steve Strongman. I was just back there. I know there's way more people in that tent back there. I know there's a lot of people in the tent. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I was sweet, baby, that you can't live without. I love my baby because she's the best I ever seen. Oh, but Lord, oh, but Lord, how she.
Thank you. Thank you so much.